And now I want to bring your attention to something you may not otherwise pay attention to. Sand. When was the last time sand made news? Never mind that. Here's why it's in the news. Because the world is running out of it. Did you know that sand is the most consumed commodity after water? And now it's scarce. I know this may sound absurd and hard to believe. There are billions of grains of sand on one stretch of beach alone. How could it disappear? Well, it slowly is slipping away and being consumed. Climate scientists at the United Nations say that the global rate of sand use has tripled over the last two decades. It's, it far exceeds the natural rate at which sand is being replenished. Simply put, we're using more than what's available and the impact is evident. Let me share some figures with you. Globally, 75 to 90 percent of the world's beaches are retreating. In Indonesia, 24 islands have already disappeared. And in Florida, 9 out of 10 beaches are fading away. What is causing this? Pascal Peduzzi, a climate scientist with the United Nations Environment Programme, says that the main driver of this crisis is breakneck urbanization. Cities, cities are expanding at a scale far greater than any time in human history. The number of people living in urban areas has more than quadrupled since 1950, multiplied by four. To some 4.2 billion today, the UN predicts that another two and a half billion will join them in the next three decades, which is equivalent to adding eight cities, the size of New York, every single year. And to facilitate this urbanization, enormous quantities of sand are being processed into construction material. It is being used to manufacture cement, which in turn is being used to build roads, bridges, railway lines and homes. According to the UN Environment Programme, the world is consuming roughly 50 billion tons of sand on an annual basis. 58% of the world's construction activities are sand fueled. And you must now look at the scale of these activities. Lagos, the largest city in Nigeria, is adding a 2,400-acre urban extension to its shoreline thanks to sand. China, the biggest consumer of this commodity, is adding hundreds of miles to its territory through islands built on sand. Even Saudi Arabia, which literally sits on an, on an enormous desert, is importing sand from Australia. The Aussies are exporting sand to the Arabs. But is the construction boom the only reason driving the sand crisis? Well, not entirely. Let me show you a report. It says that the Wuhan virus vaccines could be making the sand shortage worse. You see, sand is heated to make glass and vaccines are stored in glass vials. The world is going to need something like 2 billion extra glass vials in the next two years alone. And scientists say this will further intensify the global sand shortage. So should we worry? Well, not yet. The point of this report was to highlight how we always end up exhausting natural resources using more than what's available. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.